Gold. Gold has been moving sideways in a symmetrical triangle all the way since uh, mid-April. So uh, the question is, when? When are we going to see a relatively stronger move, either up or down? Let's have a look at some details. And as usual, looking at gold, I would like to start with the US dollar, as there is often some negative correlation between those two. Last time we looked at the US dollar as well as precious metals was all the way in early April, that was on the 5th of April. As I mentioned last time, I was expecting dollar to continue a little bit lower before a bit of a bounce into a new daily cycle, as cycles usually last for around a couple of months for the US dollar, as well as for gold, by the way. So that's more or less exactly what happened. Dollar continued down a little bit into mid-April and we've seen a cycle low in mid-April. We see dollar is above the 20-day moving average right now. The cycle lasted for 71 days. And with the FOMC tomorrow, I do expect dollar to perhaps um, go a little bit higher, poke above the Bollinger Bands. I'm not sure if it's going to uh, touch the 50-day moving average before perhaps rolling over down into the declining phase of this second daily cycle of this uh, intermediate cycle, which is now 89 days long. I think there is a bit of a danger that even if the ongoing daily cycle continues somewhat higher if the Fed is somewhat hawkish. There is a bit of a danger that this intermediate cycle is going to break to new lows on the US dollar. That's perhaps partly to expected dovishness from the Fed, if not over the next one or two meetings, but later into the year. That might actually be relatively bullish for gold, so let's switch to gold. Again, last time we were expecting a bit of a decline in the short term into the daily cycle low, followed by a bit of a continuation of the intermediate cycle rally into the second daily cycle of this uh, relatively new intermediate cycle that started in late February. So what we've seen so far is uh, gold has been declining for a while. We see RSI has approached the neutral level. We see a bit of a small symmetrical triangle forming on gold. And while, yes, there is a chance that uh, this sort of consolidation, sideways consolidation, is going to be our decline into the daily cycle low, followed by another rally into the second daily cycle, I think this scenario is not extremely likely. What's probably a little bit more likely is a bit of a poke down below the Bollinger Bands, perhaps all the way down to the 50-day moving average as the Fed talks tomorrow, after all, the market does expect the Fed to raise rates by a quarter of a percentage point. The more interesting question is going to be whether the Fed is going to talk hawkish in addition to raising by those 25 basis points. So a more likely scenario, again, in my opinion, is a break down below this symmetrical triangle, looking sort of like this. And usually symmetrical triangles are continuation patterns Gold has been declining since mid-April, so perhaps a bit of a continuation down, either into that 50-day moving average or if we throw in the Fibonacci retracement numbers, again, as I mentioned many times in my previous videos, 38%, 50%, or 62% are the most common. In this case, a 38% retracement is quite likely as it also aligns well with another support zone over here, the top of the previous intermediate cycle. That's somewhere around 1960, I think, on the spot gold price. So by then, if gold continues down for, say, another few days, perhaps even a day or two after the FOMC meeting, the daily cycle on gold will be slightly over two months. Usually, again, as I mentioned many times in my videos, these daily cycles on gold last around a couple of months on average, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. And after that, we're going to likely see a push into the second daily cycle of this new intermediate cycle. And um, the scenarios for that push is, of course, to at least test this uh, all-time high that we've tested a couple of times, around $2,070. And the interesting part is going to be how fast are we going to test that all-time high. If the test is going to happen pretty quickly within the first week of that daily cycle, then we will still have enough time of that second daily cycle to continue for a bit of a more sustained breakout. On the other hand, if it takes a few weeks for gold to retest that previous all-time high, 
then the second daily cycle will already be getting a little bit old as well as the intermediate cycle. So in that case, we'll probably have to wait for another intermediate cycle decline and a following rally into the new intermediate cycle to see new all-time highs. Wouldn't that be nice? So that's the intermediate outlook. Talking about those intermediate cycles, let's have a look at the Gold Optimism Index. Perhaps it might help us determine whether we have already topped back in mid-April or not. So um, looking at this optimism index, the danger is usually when this optimism index is pretty high, everybody is excited about gold price shooting higher, the danger zone is around this red level, well above the level of 70. But even during the sideways consolidation, as in let's say 2017-2018, uh, and even in the mid-2021, these intermediate cycles do top with the optimism index pretty close to the level of 70, if not actually touching the level of 70. So again, looking at the current level of this optimism index, we've only topped at 62 in mid-April. So historically, remember, nobody knows the future. So historically, intermediate cycles, even in a longer term sideways periods, do top with this optimism index closer to the level of 70, if not at 70. So again, perhaps a push into the second daily cycle over the next several weeks. And once this optimism index reaches somewhere around 68-ish, just below 70, that's when perhaps you might want to uh, take care of your positions. On how to do that and on much more, such as particular developers that are adding value through discoveries, through adding to their resources in the ground, regardless of what precious metals prices are doing, Join us at myfinanceteacher.org, where as you see, we have a range of categories. We do talk about a range of commodities, cryptocurrencies, energy, uranium is quite interesting right now. So perhaps I'll share my views on uranium in an upcoming video. And in this category, juniors in metals, we have a bit of a quest going on for some of the most interesting juniors, which might be a bit of a long term hold. We mostly look at uh, some of the interesting developers here and perhaps to a lesser degree uh, somewhat uh, fascinating explorers as well. So you are always welcome to join us. For now though, right now, do it right now, click that like button, click the bell notification and if you want to see gold at new all-time highs during the ongoing intermediate cycle, this is what you gotta do. You gotta share this video with your friends. Have a nice day. Bye bye.